So in the last video, we looked at the token types. So we know that we can break up the source code into lexemes and each lexeme has an associated token type. For example, a keyword, a literal, and maybe a separator. So what I want to look at now is the idea of a token. So the scanner is ultimately responsible for generating tokens. So a token is simply an object that holds all the associated information about lexemes that are encountered. So for example, uh, if I encounter, um, let's say a number, okay, we need to know the token type, we need to know the actual uh, lexeme, we need to know its literal value, and we might also need to know the line number in the source file. Okay, so for example, uh, that would be number, the lexeme would be 44, which is a string, the actual value is the number 44, and it might be found on line 1. So again, a token embodies uh, what a lexeme is. So what we want to do now, since we know, since we have defined our token types, we want to now create uh, the structure for representing tokens. So let's do that now. So I have this uh, file that I created, which is called token.go. Okay. And in here, we will specify what a token is. And so that's uh, easy enough. We're going to say there is a new type called token. Okay. And this new type has a couple properties. Okay. Fields. One of them is called kind, which is of type token type. Okay. So we must also contain the actual lexeme. Right. Uh, which is always a string. And then of course the literal, which is what does the lexeme represent, right? So for example, the string 44 would actually represent 44, the number. And so since it could be any type, then we're gonna use the any um, type. So this is uh, what we consider to be a token, these three things. For now, we will leave out the line number. Uh, later on, we'll come back and add that. I want to keep it basic for now. Now what I want to do is to create a function uh, that is able to um, create a new token. So I'm gonna call it a new token. Okay. And what we must provide it is simply uh, the kind. We must provide it, of course, the lexeme. And finally, we must provide it the literal. Again, we don't know what type it will be, okay, until we're actually uh, going through the source code. And so, in any case, this new token function will return an instance of a token. All right. So let's just write the body. So we will return uh, a token that will be initialized with kind set to kind. The lexeme will be set to the lexeme that's passed in. And the literal field will be initialized with the literal name that is passed in. Okay, so this is uh, our token. So we know how to, we know what a token looks like and we know how to create one. So one thing I want to do is to um, create a method on the token type that will allow us to print out a token. 
So let's just quickly do that. Uh, function, I'm going to call it T, uh, token. And so we'll simply uh, use the stringer interface. So we will simply need to um, create a method uh, which is named string and also returns a string. And this will allow us to actually um, print a token. So all I'm going to do is to return a formatted string. Sprint F. Okay. And so we will have um, the actual um, token type. Then we will have the literal. And then we will have whatever. Um, sorry, we'll have the lexeme. And finally, we will have the literal, which we don't know what it will be because. Uh, the literal could be anything. It could be a number, it could be a, a string, it could be whatever. So we're going to use modulus V to signify that it could be of any type. So that would be T that kind and T that lexeme and T that literal. Okay. All right, so what's the problem here? Um, T that kinds of the wrong type. Okay, so that means it's probably a decimal. Because remember, uh, we used IOTA, whereby these will be assigned integers. Okay, we'll come back to that. So that's how I would um, print a token. So let's test this out. I'm going to go to main. Okay, and I'm just going to create a test token. Okay, and we know to create a test token, we're going to call the new fun new token function. And we're simply going to pass in, a, let's say number, okay, which is one of the token types. Let's pass in the Lexeme 44 and the literal of course is 44. And so we should be able to print this, right? Because we have defined the, the string method. Okay, so let's see what we get. Okay, I'm gonna build it. Let's run it. Okay, so we get 21, 44, 44. So this is the lexeme, this is the literal, and this seems to be the numerical representation of a number, right? So that would be um, number, yeah, all the way down here. Okay, so that seems to be right. However, I actually want the token type to be returned, not uh, the actual number that is used to represent it in the computer's memory. So I will need to write um, a little uh, method okay, that will take the token type and convert it to its string representation. So I'll just come down here. Um, and I will simply create a new uh, function, which is uh, a method on the token type. Okay. And we're going to make it a string as well. All right. So it will also return a string. So we'll be able to call the dot string method on it. All right, so I'm just going to create an array, uh, sorry, a slice of all these um, token types. Okay, so I'm going to just copy and paste that. Okay, since I don't want to type out all of it. But anyway, uh, I have a slice of all the token types. Okay, and notice the three dots. Um, that's simply telling Go that 
um, I want you to initialize a slice to as to as to a value that represents how many of these they are. Okay, how many they are, and so that's what the dot that means. The three dots. Okay, so I have my tokens list, and so all I have to do, okay, is to simply say that I'm going to return. Uh, the token list and T okay so remember uh, T okay simply represents our uh, entry into the slice all right so again uh, when you create a new token okay uh, sorry when you create a token type uh, it will simply be uh, an integer, right? Starting at zero. Okay. All right. So this will be that integer, and it will simply return the one of these strings. All right. With that out of the way, I can come back here, and so now I can change this back to s. And then I will simply say, okay, t that kind, okay, which will which will give me an integer, and then I will simply say that string, okay, and it will convert that uh, to a string. So let me come back to main and let me uh, rebuild. Let me try again. Okay, so notice now I get the actual token type in a human readable format. All right, so I'll leave it here for this video. Uh, we did quite a bit. Um, we went from specifying the token types to now specifying what a token looks like, which of course is a, has a token type, has a lexeme, has a kind, uh, sorry, has a um, lexeme and has a literal. All right, and of course, we also now know how to create one of these uh, tokens. And so now uh, we can proceed in the next video to start looking at the actual scanner. How do we build a scanner so that uh, it can go through the source code and every time it finds a lexeme, it creates a token to represent that lexeme. I'll see you in those upcoming videos.